What other betting tips do you have? Top five betting no nos in order. Don't ever play with money you don't have. Don't bet games if you have no money to pay if you lose. Very simple. Two, don't bet bad teams. Bad teams are bad teams for a reason. They're not going to cover. They're not going to get lucky one week. They may, they may not. But just don't bet bad teams. In the long run, you won't win. Number three, stay disciplined. Don't chase because you had a losing day. Don't put extra money on a bailout play. And don't let your ego stand in the way. If you're up big, don't bet that extra game late on a Saturday night when you really don't have an edge or winning information on it, which could be money for the next day on something you really, really like. Number four, throw your ego out the door. You don't have a crystal ball. You don't have information on games. You don't know how many returning starters there are on certain teams. You don't know how big an offensive line going up against a small defensive line is. You don't know who's returning, who's coaching on all these teams. Don't think you can do it on your own and end up being a winner in the long run. Professional betters, they they count on sources. They pay in from they pay for information. They pay a lot of people. So don't have an ego. There's certain information in certain games we have very solid information on and can tip you off. So not a bad idea to have someone behind you. You can't do it on your own. Number five. There's so many more than number five, but number five, I would have to say, don't bet bad lines. If a line is minus six, let's say, and you love and you think it's gonna be a blowout, and it's minus six, if that game goes to minus seven and a half, eight, just because you think it's a blowout doesn't mean it's still going to be that great of a bet. What other betting tips do you have? As if it were minus six. Don't bet into bad lines, guys. 